At the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, one of the critical controls that the leadership put in place was to decongest the workplace. Within a week or so, we had to get uh, well over 3,000 of our colleagues working from home. For our department, it meant ensuring that there is sufficient bandwidth, um, there is adequate connectivity and productivity tools to allow our people to work. It's not only about the provisioning of the same, you need to get people to be able to use the tool set. So there, has, there had to be a lot of engagement, a lot of training and coaching uh, to make sure that our people were up to speed on the use and adoption of these tools. The one thing that colleagues across board kept asking themselves that how am I going to do this? I've been used all my working life. I'm going to a colleague's office saying hi. All of a sudden, I'm not even able to see them. And, and, and obviously, as we roll out the mitigations that, that we had put in place, we have this at the back of our minds to say, this is a different work environment. Looking at it from where we are now, a year on, it has worked with maximum success. There has been a number of uh, scenarios where you feel that, God, did we manage to, to do this, you know? Because remember at that point in time, you are thinking about the now, you've got limited information as to what this pandemic means. There has been a heightened increase on, on cyber security. We knew that we needed a security operations center. We had planned to do a, a cyber security and right roadmap, a cyber security strategy and roadmap. But with what we're seeing around the increased, increased incidents of phishing, uh, where somebody uh, purposed to be a reputable organization that wants to get donations and they get your, 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 your count data, it, it, this fast tracks our thinking around fortifying the controls around cybersecurity. What I think was most important was being constantly engaged uh, with, with, with our colleagues, both within the department and, and the, the business at large. But through constant engagement, being able to check on people, being able to give somebody a call, and occasionally setting up the uh, productivity tool that we are using mostly is Teams, being able to set the video settings, uh, the impact is lessened. The fact that the business was experiencing uh, challenges as a result of the subdued diamond market, we needed that to make sure that in all the interventions that we have put through, we are looking at the most uh, cost-effective manner to implement the same. For example, we had to quickly find a solution that allows us to uh, workflow signatures rather than printing the documents, because remember there's nobody in the office place, in the workplace, right? And uh, those are some of the things that we have had to do quite relatively, but it was always important to remember that we do not have the, 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 the money or the funds that would ordinarily have given the market challenges that we're experiencing. And it was a common theme throughout. We always wanted to find the most effective uh, manner of implementing uh, the solutions and interventions that we needed to do. We also wanted to take advantage of the slowed operating environment within the business to push through some of the projects that we felt had been left behind but we know that we're going to be important once once uh, there is a turnaround. Uh, one of the highest causes for our travel is to bring in consultants into the environment, uh, into the company or traveling between sites but we're able to use our our tools uh, uh, to conduct business. It is quite clear that the, the various tools that we've put in place have greatly increased uh, the productivity of our colleagues. The same tools have got uh, a, a, an adverse impact in terms of enabling your misinformation, fake news, and most importantly, uh, information leakage, unauthorized information leakage at that. The reason why this is of concern to us is that misinformation, for example, on, on, on vaccines has got the adverse impact of eroding the trust that our people, both within the organization and the communities that we are operating in, has on whether or not these vaccines will work. Ultimately, I am convinced that there will be an end to this sketch at some point in time. We will continue to provide our best, our very best to this, to enable the business. We will work on platforms that provide insight that allows our decision making to be on point, on time, all the time. We need to make sure that we observe the COVID-19 protocols. It is important that we sanitize, we social distance, we uh, travel only when it's necessary. And as always, we want to make sure that we are always wearing our masks.